in that cat. Pull up 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 in that cat. I'm chasing that cat. I'm chasing the rest. What's going on YouTube? Starting off another vlog. About to jump in the whip real quick. I appreciate y'all rocking out with me. Before we jump into this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Hit those links in the description. The website is now open, www.bakeland.shop. We about to hit up the thrift store, y'all. Stay tuned. I know it's been a minute since we hit up the thrift. So I figure it's a cloudy day outside. The sun ain't shining. What better day for a trip to the thrift? Didn't get y'all that cold start, my bad. YouTube. I don't even be into all that. I'm gonna get the exhaust done soon though. I'm headed to the thrift right now. Early morning. It's about 10. So it ain't too early. I'm just getting it in, y'all. You already know. I figured I slacked off. I figure I slacked off. Um I slacked off. When was that? The week that I actually bought this car from the auction, the one that I'm getting the transmission put in, um, the week that I bought that car, I kind of slacked off uploading. I didn't upload none that week. I was being patient with the process. I knew that y'all wanted to see what was going on with the car all in one video, even though that was different days broken up. Well, if y'all want to know more about that car that I got, go hit that video, find the car at the auction. Pink hair tie I got in, y'all. It's not color coordinated with my shirt or nothing like that it was literally the only one i had so i just do that join in go to sleep and i wear this do rag i gotta rock out so don't judge me with the pink hair tie y'all but it is what it is so i've been up in washington in the pacific northwest for like almost a year and a half i didn't i didn't been back home to cleveland uh but really it's just you know we hit milestones y'all and really just all i'm gonna say today really just rocking out with y'all is sometimes you gotta you gotta lead by example, you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of my people, let's keep in mind the cost of living is three times where I'm from. So anybody, it don't matter who you are, you know what I'm saying? It, it don't matter how experienced you are in life, anybody, when they coming from a place where the cost of living is a third of where they're trying to go, like, you know, California, Seattle, for example, it's kind of nerve wracking also. I feel like sometimes you got to lead by example if i would have never been up here grinding it out putting my head down showing people that i can do it other people around me probably wouldn't have the idea that they can do it don't let people block your blessings you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna just leave it at that don't let nobody else block your blessings like if you got something that you want to do don't let what somebody else is saying stop you understand that you got to grind hard too for a lot of the stuff y'all nothing's overnight and to get to certain positions in life if you want a car like this not even a car like this you might want a house a mortgage you know what i'm saying you might want something crazier than what i got you might want a phantom bentley or something like that understand that you got to position yourself to get that nobody else is going to position you to get a bentley nobody else is going to position you to get a mortgage on your house nobody else is going to position you to pay your bills every month you got to do it first i had to say all right this is what i want Second, I had to figure out the steps to take to get to what I wanted. Third, I actually had to do it. And if you don't got people around you encouraging you, like, go do this, go do that. Giving constructive criticism or constructive advice or good advice. And it's people that's always there when you down, never when you up. Always not motivating you, always got something to say bad, but, ne but never really motivating you. Be weary of them people around you, y'all, because there's people like that out there. They're just around you just because they don't have nothing better to do. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind, y'all. Make sure that you're keeping people around you with that same type of grind, with the same mindset, because mindset is key. Mindset is key. So make sure that y'all keeping people around you with the same mindset, the same grind set as you. If people ain't around you and they don't got that same grind as you, it'll rub off. It'll rub off, y'all. That's all I'm going to say. So make sure that y'all staying true baking up i'm gonna tap back in we're on our way to the thrift store right now but i figured i just want to drop quick gin or you too so i just put up to the thrift i'm gonna head in there see what i can find if i am like whispering in these videos or it sounds like i'm whispering anything like that 
I don't think you can record in the thrift store. So that's the reason why that I'm recording in here. But I don't think they care too much. But the thing is, I don't want to be up in nobody's face, like walking around vlogging with the camera, y'all. So stay tuned. You see how I'm coming today. Travis Scott SB. Dang, I still sign on them joint. It is what it is, though, man. Spill something on them. But I mean, they're shoes. No matter how much they cost y'all, they're still shoes. So stay tuned. I'm gonna tap in once we get in there. All right, y'all, so I just stepped in here. The thing is, I always try to find vintage Nike, so I love hitting up the active section. I'm gonna show you guys if I can find anything. Stay tuned. Burning up that cash, it's the move. Oh my. Them joints are crazy, yo. Throwbacks, though. Them joints are crazy. All right, YouTube, I'm about to hit up the t-shirts. They're playing music in here right now. I'm trying not to get copyrighted, so stay tuned. Burning up that cash, it's the move. I'm in that zone, I'm in that move. Step through, cool, go, jewel. Smoking on that gas, ain't no jewel. Oh, my God. Quick score, so count for t shirt. Size XL. I had to go get it. It's my time, can't miss it. I had to go get it. Flip it like a genius. Why me go and get it? I ain't never missing. Soul Caliber t-shirt. Ain't no telling how much that shirt will go for. I know that's like a crazy OG game. I never played it, but I know I heard a lot about it. That might have been before my gaming time. Y'all stay tuned. I'm about to run through the rest of the store. They got the radio playing super loud today. So the thing is, I don't want to get copyrighted. So if it's spots of the video where I just put text and I'm not talking, it's not that I didn't want to say nothing, but it's that the music was playing and I didn't want to get copyrighted, y'all. So stay tuned. So that's it for the t-shirts, but I did find this crazy Soul Calibur t-shirt. Right now, I'm across the country. I had to go and get some money. We talking down. I can't hear him. I am not around. I'm too far. Run around in a fast car. So I just left the thrift store in the car now. I'm gonna head back to the house. Um, I was able to find a couple pieces at the thrift store. The thing is, is keep in mind, you guys, there was more vintage in there. I tried to show you guys the Nike tags. I mean, not Nike tag, I'm sorry, the Adidas tag. There was a vintage Adidas uh, uh, polo button down. And there was also a vintage Peyton Manor jersey. But the thing is, is they don't do too well for me. I know the jerseys don't sell the best for me. Even though they look cool, like to have in the collection, right now I'm just trying to. If I'm spending money, I kind of want to see that return. So the jerseys don't do the best for me. The vintage Adidas like polo probably wouldn't do the best. Even though that thing was super fresh, they wanted ten dollars for it. So my profit margin is like after shipping. The shipping is gonna cost me anywhere from five to ten dollars. So I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot with some of these clothes, y'all. So keep in mind. Not everything vintage is something that you want to buy, but the Soul Calibur T, you can't pass that up. The vintage Nike shorts with the all over swoosh on them, with the big swoosh on them, you can't pass that up. It's just something that I couldn't pass up. I know they just brought back the big swoosh too on jackets. So y'all see how style always repeats itself. So I'm running a sale on my Depop. So everything on my Depop is like 25% off, I want to say. I'm running a sale. I'm trying to clear it out. I got some pretty cool pieces on there. And if y'all are subscribers from YouTube, make sure if you hit me up on Depop and say, hey, I'm subscribed on YouTube, I will give you a crazy deal. You'll get 50% off on my Depop. No cap. 
I'll give y'all 50% off on my Depot if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. And you know, this is towards the end of the video, so I know you're really watching my channel if you watch this, you know what I'm saying? So tap in with me. If you know me personally, tap in with me. I got a room full of vintage clothes. I want to let go. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with the next man making a couple dollars. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. That's the best way to support me is those links in the description. Stream my music on SoundCloud. Follow me on Instagram. Double tap some pictures. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Show me some love. I'm really the only person from the west side of Cleveland doing what I'm doing as far as vlogs, music, and clothing. I'm the only person doing it from my city, y'all. So rock out with me. All the support is needed. It's much appreciated. Until the next video, I'm gone. I'm going to tap back in.